Hey Rita, uh, Daphne here. I'm very sorry, I didn't see uh, this essay yesterday actually. Um, thank you for nudging me. Um, so let's go straight in and have a look. Okay. Uh, fathers. These days, more fathers stay at home and take care of their children while mothers go out to work. Okay. What could be the reasons for this? Is it a positive or negative development? So this uh, generally IELTS thing of two questions, uh, quite often we need to um, kind of really think about this. So one paragraph reasons, one paragraph uh, advantages or positive or negative. Okay. In recent years, the fashion of fathers being at home taking care of the youngsters has profoundly increased. Excellent. There are two main possible causes for this trend. Um, women earning more than men and the fact that some jobs do not require physical appearance at the workforce. In my opinion, I believe this have a detriment. Okay, this is a really nice introduction. Um, what I like is that you're giving me some immediately some ideas. Um, and also you're very clearly stating what you think. Okay, so let's just check. In recent years, the f tr uh, fashion, uh, I kind of think trend might be better of fathers being at home taking care of their youngsters um, being at home being at, yep, has profoundly increased there are two main possible causes for this. Oh, you've got trend there all right um, in that case I put maybe for this profound shift fashion is okay obviously there's nothing wrong with it but I think we can go a bit stronger so profound is deep and shift is a real change uh, to this profound shift. Now, if you're going to do it, the grammar that you've got here, there are two main possible reasons for this profound shift. You'd have to go for a comma there. Women earning more than men. It's quite interesting grammar here, and I don't know if you've done this on purpose, but women earning more than men, and the fact that some jobs do not require physical appearance at the, uh, okay, no, maybe no longer require, require, um, physical appearance. I mean, physical appearance, the workplace, you really mean working online. So it just seems rather a strange way to say it. Re so uh, no longer require. Ah, oh, physical presence. It isn't appearance. It's physical presence. That's what you mean. Okay. So you'd have to go actually a physical presence in the workforce. In the work in the workplace you are in the workforce but you're not necessarily in the workplace okay a physical presence in the workplace my opinion is this may have a detrimental effect on children as lack mother's love as lacking mother, mother's love not as maybe due to the lack of <coughs> mother's love or due to the risk of uh, but I think you want due to rather than as there. But good introduction. One possible reason why numerous fathers are now staying at home looking after their young children is that they do not make as much money as their partners. Brilliant. This means women nowadays have decent jobs. I mean, I think we're going to go more than decent, have significant and important jobs in many countries worldwide. Decent is kind of okay but you're really talking about some quite serious jobs because they're earning more than the men, uh, earning more than men. Hence the decision uh, of letting. We go decision to let, infinitive. Uh, mother's work rather than father's. Oh, I don't know, I don't, I don't like the word let. I go encourage mothers to work. Let has this sense of permission. Uh, I think, uh, in, I mean, in, in some countries you're absolutely right. I think encourage might be better here though. Encourage mothers to work rather than fathers, comma, is viably considerable and understandable. You can't have viably considerable. Is viable, adjective, and understandable. That doesn't work since every family needs a high income in order to pay for their demands. Okay, pay for their expenses. Um, we pay for expenses and we meet demands. Okay. Watch out with the collocations. So uh, this is something I was talking to another student about. The collocations are the words which naturally go together. In addition, many jobs are now being resumed from home. Uh, resumed from home, conducted. 
we conduct a job from home. We resume work. If we've taken time off, then we go back, which is resume work. So what I do, Rita, is I just make a note of these, quite a lot of these things. So pay expenses, meet demands, uh, resume work, yeah? We conduct business from home. So I write down all these little things because these are collocations. These are words which, for English speakers, naturally go together because we hear them so often. They are natural. Very hard to learn. Hence, fathers often have a job which does... Uh, not hence again. We don't need hence that often. Fathers often have a job which does not require them to travel to work, consequently staying at home working and looking after their options consequently allowing them to remain at home and perform child care duties okay uh, that is better okay but I, I like I can see how you've made an effort not to use they all the time so well done okay uh, therefore employers often work from home yeah I don't think you need that it's repeating it. Yeah, it's repetitive. And this paragraph is very long compared to that paragraph. You kind of made the point. You made the point. Well, stop. Yeah. Um, for instance, customer service. Shop. Good. Nice example there. That's fine. Admittedly, it is believed there's nothing that can change a mother's love. Watch out for the grammar here. Meaning children would definitely feel something different. Feel something different if what? Yeah, without the presence of their mother, um, or feel something different if only brought up by their father. And the lack of mother's care at an early age of child's life could have significant effects on child's mental health and their psychology. For instance, it has been scientifically proven that children under the age of six years old establish a special bond between themselves and their mothers. Lacking that bond in the situation could have. Okay, yeah. Although, at a a later age it has been it has often stated that a father's uh, input is uh, equally as valuable okay uh, valuable uh, it maybe you know you can say it a um, I think you're more of a sort of older teenagers or even in a even for boys that sort of age six plus um I don't think you can rule out fathers so quickly in that paragraph um if you look at the balance, the introduction is quite long. this paragraph is long, which is why I want to cut that line. You need to boost that paragraph you it, these you want to have a shortish intro. I know I've added some words there, and these two want to balance, yeah. Uh, so you've gone some positive and you've gone, okay, yep, yeah, there are some negatives. Good. In conclusion, it appears that um, due to the opportunity away from home, many fathers are not good. Okay, in my opinion, good. It's perhaps true that women may have a decent job, but considering taking children is... But should consider that maybe. So you're making a recommendation to the women. Should consider that. Taking care of their own children is far more important than climbing career ladders. Okay, uh, right. So you're saying they shouldn't do it with a detrimental effect. Good. Okay. You've argued that really, really well. There are some issues here in the vocab. That's what I'm most concerned about here because you would lose marks on that. And watch out on the coherence, so the balance of paragraphs. Okay, um, but keep going, Rita, because you're absolutely going in the right direction and the improvements in your style are great. Okay, just really please watch these very, very carefully and make some notes on what we're doing here. Um, okay, the line graph I displays data about the amount of rain which fell. Okay, good. Overall, good. So now we've got the four paragraphs we're looking for. Too many words. Literally, too many words. You do not score more points for more words. 170 to 180 and stop. It is far more important to work on the task two. The task two has twice the marks of task one. Yeah, this has like 30%. This has like 70%. Okay, this is double weighted. Uh, this is much, much, much more important. So don't waste your, don't waste your time on this. Yeah. 
Uh, overall, it's clear that England witnessed the largest amount of rain. Yep, good. Uh, no capital there. All the countries mentioned showed a fluctuation. And uh, with England and Scotland. Mm. Witnessing an increase. Well done using witnessing. Well done. But it should be ing. Witnessing an increase by the end of the year. Maybe that's what you meant. Uh, good. Okay, nice. The former start of the period is 100. This figure fluctuated. Okay. Okay. Uh, fluctuated. Yeah. Peaked. Okay. Um, before increasing to. Okay. Fell sharply. Okay, good. Having fallen. Nice. Significantly from just over 100 to an year. The, uh, in Scotland. Keep going here. Rain increased uh, in March uh, then showed no particular pattern yeah you need to cut this it's too long okay and what you're in danger of doing Rita is giving me a list I don't want a list I want you to group and compare remember Make comparisons where relevant, okay? I want you to take a pencil and tell me, oh, that's interesting. They're all pretty wet in July. This is interesting here. Wales is very dry here, and these are quite high, reaching peaks here, okay? Uh, these are low here. This is a massive jump here, which you do mention, but group the information together and compare it. Okay, it is possible to do that. Be careful, if you just give me one country by one country, like this is a little bit of a list, that won't get you a set. Okay, it just won't. Um, you are very much told not to list. Um, it's very much make comparisons. Okay, as for Wales, started making it the lowest country, okay, kept fluctuating. So we've got this awful word fluctuating three times as well. Don't overuse that word, okay. We, we don't want that so much. You can have it once, but it's very overused and it won't score you lots of points. Everyone learns it, but but just use it once, okay? So it's okay. Um, you're not making many mistakes in it, but in to, to score highly, think of it differently. Like we did with the other one. Think about the grouping, grouping the big ones, grouping the small ones. Here, look at it with a pencil. Oh, wow, that's unusual. That's unusual. I'll talk about that. Hey, they mirror each other here. Yeah, so group the information together and that, that will score you a much higher mark. And maybe for your own satisfaction, try that one again. Um, doing it like that, doing it with that grouping and see what you think. Okay, uh, well done, Rita, but keep on going. You're doing great.